Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and there is a firmware update available for the Ledger Stacks. So I'd like to do a quick video walking you through the process. I've already done a video for a firmware update on the Ledger Flex, which is very similar, but a lot of people like to see specific walkthroughs for their specific wallet. So I'm gonna show you how to do the firmware update on a Ledger Stacks. So let's jump in. Okay, so when you first log into Ledger Live, you may not always see firmware update alerts until you connect your device. Now, there are three types of updates that can be done from Ledger Live. The first is an update to the Ledger Live software, and those updates you will see when you just launch Ledger Live without any devices attached you'll see a purple bar at the top telling you there's a new version of the Ledger Live software. Um, and I encourage you to always keep your Ledger Live software up to date. Now, when we go into the My Ledger section, that is where we will find uh, the uh, firmware that runs on the device. So there's firmware updates and there's also app updates. So uh, this will be a firmware update. We need to authorize this on our device. So we just hit the little button there to allow Ledger Live to interface with our device. All right, and so this is the My Ledger section interface. You can see that uh, my device is uh, running OS 1.5.0 and the, later, the latest update is 1.6.0. Uh, it is also past the genuine check. Now, someone asked me about the genuine check. They were worried that they didn't see it or that it hadn't been performed. And I told them that it doesn't always just pop out at you every time you connect your device. But when you go into my ledger, you can see the confirmation here. Um, and it does, in fact, run the genuine check every time you connect your device and go into the my ledger section. So uh, don't worry uh, if your device is fails the genuine check, you will know. Uh, uh, also kind of a good opportunity here, we can see that there is an app update available. Now you could, sometimes there's no firmware update, but there, there are app updates. So uh, always keep your apps up to date as well. Now, in today's case, when I run this update firmware, it's going to reset the apps on the device and reinstall them. So it will automatically install the latest version of all the apps I have on my device. So I don't really need to run this Ton update separately, right? It's gonna be included in my firmware update. All right, so uh, to start, as uh, we mentioned, uh, the device is already connected and unlocked. I, pr I wouldn't have been able to get into this section without that. So, but FYI, you do need to have the device connected and you need to have it uh, unlocked, right? You have to have the pin entered. Before I actually run the update, I would like to say that I've had a few users contact me and tell me things like, uh, we were always very careful. We kept our device uh disconnected and in a closet and we never we we only connected it when we had to because we were afraid of exposing it uh, this is an unwarranted fear this device is a security device it is not at risk when you connect it to ledger live so try to break out of that thinking uh, that somehow the device is vulnerable to remote hacking every time it's connected and then somehow try to minimize connection. Um, I connect my device every day. I'm not worried about remote hacks on the device. It is a security device. It is designed to withstand physical tampering and software tampering. So just kind of wanted to, to dispel that particular rumor. Let's go ahead and click update firmware. It's going to tell us a little bit about the version and what we're going to, uh, what the improvements will be. Uh, we'll click install update and we'll see some uh, activity on the device. 
Um, as I mentioned, it is going to reinstall all these apps when it's done. So the first thing it does is back up your apps, whatever apps you have installed on there. They will be removed, but then they will be automatically reinstalled when we're done. Right, so we see some progress on our screen and we see a progress bar on our device. All right, now uh, basically what it just did was download the update installer onto the device. And so at this point, we want to uh, authorize the installation. So it's asking me to install the update. So we'll just tap install and let it do its thing. These updates are really no brainers. I mean, we update our phones, we update our computers, we install software on our computers. It's pretty much the same thing. I know it's nerve wracking because it has to do with your crypto, but your cryptocurrency is stored on the blockchain. And if you have your seed phrase written down and in a safe place, uh, all hell could break loose and the device could blow up or start smoking. It wouldn't matter because you have your seed phrase, right? So uh, I, people get really nervous thinking that if something happens to the device, their crypto will be lost. That is not the case. And it's also very rare that anything will ever happen to the device during a firmware update. All right, so now it wants me to enter the pin. Uh, it gives you the option of loading the picture. If you had an, uh, a picture on your device, you can uh, upload it again at this point. I'm just gonna skip that. We'll hit continue OS update. And once again, it's like we've reconnected. We're back at square one, so we need to allow the secure connection again. We'll just tap that. All right, now it's running the update on the device. If you see this little error message, don't panic. Uh, basically, just disconnect and reconnect your device and enter your PIN. And you can just close this uh, alert box here and it'll continue. Takes us back here. And now it's going to reinstall all of the apps that you had on there before. So back in the early days of firmware updates, they used to wipe all of the apps. Uh, and then it was up to the user to reinstall whatever apps they had on there before. Uh, now uh, Ledger has improved the process, makes it a little more seamless. It saves your app list and then reinstalls them for you automatically. So you'll see a list of apps that are being installed and you'll see the queue list. You can also look up here. Uh, the ones that are grayed out are the ones that are in the queue. And this last part here is the free space. So just wait until you see colors all along here. Alrighty, and when it gets all of the apps reinstalled, you're uh, done. And uh, also, if you wanted to re-add the picture you had for your lock screen, you can do that right here with Add. And I had one from my computer. Yeah, so just click on your image and click Open. Hit confirm and hit load picture. And you can go into the My Ledger section and load a different picture anytime you want to. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, it's a quick, easy process. Uh, no reason to get nervous about something like this. Uh, you should be nervous about not doing updates uh, because updates provide you with security fixes, bug fixes. Um, additional functionality, all that good stuff. So best practice is to keep your device up to date. Uh, notice that the app update is no longer there because uh, I now have the latest version of all the apps that were on the device before. All right, if you have any questions about anything I did or said, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click. That will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.